Thank you for volunteering for the Indiana Trails Fund and the Hoosier Rails to Trails Council. First off, we'd like to thank you for helping us create these beautiful spaces for hiking, biking, and horseback riding throughout this beautiful state. Because we are physically transforming existing railroad lines into trail space, it's important that every volunteer understand and follow these specific safety guidelines. We want everyone to have fun while volunteering, and we want everyone to stay safe through this transformation process. The first rule of safety is protective clothing. While working on the trails, you will need to wear protective eye gear in the form of goggles or a face shield. Next, we will need to protect your hearing in this construction environment. You'll need to wear earplugs or muffs while working on the trails. Your hands need adequate protection. Always wear your safety gloves to avoid splinters and blisters. Wear long pants to protect your legs. Blue jeans are great, and you'll need boots or hard shoes on your feet. So to recap, Always protect your eyes, ears, hands, legs, and feet while working at the conversion site. Slips and falls are the most dangerous part of this kind of volunteer construction work, and we want to make sure that everyone stays safe. Let's take a look at some potential hazards. Bridges can get wet, and they can be slippery. Also, some of the spaces between the bridge ties are big enough for a foot to go through, so be sure you plant your foot on a solid part of board when you step. Pay attention to the entire surface of the trail. This surface can be its own hazard. Walk slowly. This is especially important while carrying something. If you see something in the way that may be a hazard to someone else, it's just best to remove it. But get help when moving and removing larger items. Most of the trails have slopes and erosion areas. Stay in the middle of the trail. The loose gravel on the edges of the trails are especially dangerous as you can lose your footing entirely. Some of our power tools are corded and attached to a generator. Cords are tripping hazards, so be careful. Again, remember, this is a construction zone in a wooded area. You're going to have to watch where and how you step. This is some pretty rugged terrain, and we have some vehicles on these trails that you might be unloading during the construction process. Remember, every vehicle has a blind spot, and a driver can't see you if you're standing behind a large truck. Before unloading the vehicle, turn off the engine and set the parking brake. If you are driving an ATV, keep a safe speed and be mindful of pedestrian volunteers. Stay in the middle of the trail, and if you see an ATV approaching, stand to the side, but be sure not to get too close to the edge of the trail. There are a number of power hand tools used in converting our rails to trails. Just as with home use, you'll want to follow some basic safety instructions. Wear your safety gear, of course. Inspect each tool before using. Make sure the drill bits are tightly secured before you turn the drill on. Use the right tool for the right job. If you have any questions about how a tool should or shouldn't be used, please see a team leader. They'll always be there to answer your questions. You'll be carrying materials from one end of the job site to another. When you pick up an object, bend with your knees and let your legs, not your back, do the lifting. And only lift as much as you can comfortably carry. Keep materials off the walkways. Wood and even tools left on the walkways can be hazardous to other volunteers. Keeping the path clear will minimize any risk of falls. And remember, move slowly and watch your step when carrying anything on the trail. Picking up litter is always a good idea, but take good care to keep yourself safe. Take a good look before picking up litter on the trail. Pick up any biohazard, old batteries, chemical containers, 
or sharp objects with mechanical means such as tongs, a litter stick, or a dustpan and brush, not with your hands, even when gloved. The object is to have no skin contact with the item. Keep yourself safe. Contact your team leader if you have any questions. It's critical to stay hydrated. Take frequent rest breaks in the shade. It's always a good idea to know the forecast on your volunteer day, but weather can change dramatically and quickly. Seek shelter immediately if you hear thunder, see lightning, or know of tornado activity in the area. Even a watch means conditions are right for a storm, and we don't want you a mile down the trail with no clear way to exit. Best seek shelter during any severe weather threat. nature. All this beautiful flora and fauna makes for some really nice trails, but there are a few things to avoid. This is poison ivy. It's in the woods and it causes a super itchy rash. You get the rash from touching it or touching something that has touched it, like your clothes. You normally get it from touching just the leaves, but yanking the vine out by the roots, even in winter, can give you a wicked rash. Stay away from it. There's also poison oak and poison sumac to think about but you're more likely to encounter poison ivy on the trails. If your skin is exposed to any of these plants, rinse immediately with lots of cold water. As far as insects go, there are plenty of ticks, chiggers, and mosquitoes in the state of Indiana. Commercially available insect repellent helps keep these critters at bay. Make sure you get it around your hairline, but for safety's sake, even if you use spray, always check yourself over for ticks after coming out of the woods. There are plenty of snakes in the state of Indiana. They are a natural part of our ecosystem. Snakes are more afraid of you than you are of them, so just keep your distance. If you see a snake on the trail, simply keep calm and stand back. If you see a snake with stripes running up and down its body and you live in the state of Indiana, it's not a venomous snake. But if it's a fat snake with a head wider than its body, you got it, poisonous. There's plenty to enjoy as a volunteer out here on the trails, but remember, this is a construction zone. If you protect yourself, watch your step, play it safe with vehicles, tools, and materials, and keep an eye out for nature's dangers, you'll have a great day volunteering. Be safe, everyone, and thank you for helping us make the new hike and bike trails for Hoosiers.